Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's spring and I really wanted to do a nail art with a beautiful butterfly. So this is what I bring you today. If you want to know how to do it, just keep watching. As usual, I already applied my base coat and base color. Those this lilac nail polish. I love lilac, it's one of my favorite colors. I wanted to do a gradient of colors, so I'm also using these two colors. And we're gonna have a transition from the lilac to this sparkly purple. And so to do this gradient, we're going to need a sponge like this. I'm using the ones I have that are from Conad. And now I'm going to start with this lavender nail polish. I'm just applying it directly to the sponge, as you can see. And now we just need to apply it to the nail. I'm going to start with the tip of the nail because that's where I want to focus the color and then I'm going to spread it up to make it fade into the lilac color. And then you just keep adding the nail polish as you need. And remember to try to build it up slowly because we want that nice transition from one color to the other. So if you had, um, if you add a lot right away, then it's not going to look good. Try always to keep building it up. And also don't forget about the corners of the nail. As you can see I wanted to do this more diagonal so really don't forget about that corner. And we're done with this color so we're going to move on to the other nail polish which is darker. And we just need to do the same thing we did before. Of course now we're going to focus more on the tip, not going so high as we did with the lavender color because we don't want to cover that up of course. And when it comes to doing gradients like this, you could only use two colors, there's no need to use three like I'm doing right now, but in this case and with the effect that I wanted to achieve and the colors that I wanted to, to use and to create I think this is what works works better for, for what I wanted at this point and since this last color is much darker than the first one that uh, lavender color really makes the the gradient or the transition um, look better and look more natural, let's say. And here we have our base ready with our beautiful gradient of colors. And of course I chose these colors but you can use any other colors of your choice. Before we move on to our butterfly I'm going to use this matte top coat. And I'm applying it only on the nail where I'm going to paint the butterfly because we're using the one stroke technique with acrylic paint. And so I'm going to use an angled brush like this, also some acrylic paint. I chose these two pink colors, my palette and an old TV. And also some water. I'm going to place the acrylic paint in my palette. and damp 
one side of the brush in each color. I'm going to wipe it in the CD so that we can get the gradient that we want. And now we're ready to start our butterfly. As you saw in the beginning of the video, the butterfly is going to be sideways. I'm starting with the wing that's on the back. And then I'm going to draw uh, the other one that's in the front part. And one coat, it's not enough to get the color payoff that we want. So we need to go back and do another coat when the first one is dry. So now I'm just going back over that first coat that I did. And this is basically it with the one stroke technique. Now I'm going to add the details that are going to bring this butterfly to life. And for that I'm going to use some black acrylic paint and my detail brush. And I'm going to add some water. And this is very important because we want to draw a really thin line. And for now I'm just going to contour the butterfly. And now I'm going to draw the body of the butterfly. And now that the contour is done, I'm going to move on to the details of the wings. I'm going to make that edge of the wing a little bit thicker. And now I'm going to change my brush for this smaller one because I want my lines to be really thin. And my advice for you at this stage is to go check out some pictures of monarch butterflies so that you have a reference on what you should do and how to place the lines. Because this is what really gives that realistic touch to the butterfly. This is a little bit too far from the camera, I'm sorry. It was kind of hard to find an angle where I could work and film at the same time. And then I couldn't zoom in because the camera would get off focus. But I hope you can understand what I'm doing and that this will be helpful for you in some way. You can see how this makes such a difference in the butterfly. It's starting to come together and looking really beautiful. The next step is to pick up some white acrylic paint and again using a detail brush. and we're going to add the dots to the wings. 
and these dots will be only on the black outer edge of the wing and then also on the body of the butterfly. And these dots are our final touch to our butterfly. And here is our beautiful butterfly. And now to complete the nail art, I'm going to use this purple acrylic paint. Again, with my tiny detail brush, I'm going to add some curly lines on the background. I'm just going to draw these lines randomly. using the tip of the brush to make the lines very thin and after that I'm going to add some white lines as well And this is also what I'm going to do on the other nails, just randomly adding these lines. And the last step is to add a purple rhinestone in all the nails. And our nail art is done. We just need to add our top coat to protect the design. And we're good to go. I really hope you like this tutorial, if you do, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, feel free to share the video with your friends, and if you want to see more from me, just subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video, bye!